A debate that has been going on for several months, pitting food truck owners against downtown restaurants. 23 ABC's Andrew Wirth spoke with customers of both to see where the middle ground may be found. Let's say where we're standing right here in this reflective vest, mark the front doors to a restaurant. Walk with me now. 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 feet. If you take a look back to where we started, this distance of 100 feet could become the law for food truck owners and where they can park. A feud starting when food trucks rolled into town, a stationary restaurant against those that move. City Council members voting in favor tonight to review City Ordinance Chapter 5.66. The ordinance puts limitations on where food trucks can park and when they can be open. Customers eager to know how the council votes. I understand the position of the restaurant not wanting business to be taken away from them, but they should probably look at it, the whole perspective. I do think they should get along, but however, in business, people, you know, you can't force anybody to do anything. While others say they shouldn't be able to park anywhere. I don't think they should be able to park next to the, the brick and mortar restaurants simply because everybody's competing for the dollar and my allegiance is toward the, the place I work here. Here being a bar downtown where the traffic of food trucks is seen daily, some saying it's not about the options available and more about the schedule of that specific day. For me, when, when I have time, I go to a restaurant, whether the food truck is there or not, because I want to sit down and I want to relax and I want to enjoy and have my tea. And, and then when I'm hurrying and I'm super busy, I don't have time for lunch, I grab from the food truck. While others recognize the advantages that both sides have. I just want good food. And I think competition is good. You know, however, the fact that they can, they're mobile, that probably gives them a good advantage in certain ways. But however, the place that is there all the time has an advantage as well. Laws for food trucks not solidified just yet, as City Council will review the ordinance before voting on September 28th. And if it is approved, it could become a law in November. Andrew Wirth, 23 ABC.